In their continuing fight to get a Clean Dream Act passed by Congress, ASU DACA recipients and supporters gathered on campus to talk strategy and planning. Fortessa Latifi was there and spoke with the group. Fortessa? As the weeks go by, DACA recipients still don't have a clear answer as to what exactly their future holds. Dreamer Belin Sisa is part of a local activist group that is putting on the pressure to get a legislative solution sooner rather than later. Belin Sisa talks I vividly so about the moment she was handcuffed and taken and like to jail. I, you, I got emotional and I started crying because I just, I felt everybody in the room and I felt so supported that in my mind I was like, wow, like I can't believe that I'm doing this as he was handcuffing me. And then I looked at everyone's faces and it was like, we're with you. It happened two weeks ago as Sisa and a group of Arizona State University DACA recipients traveled to D.C. demanding lawmakers pass the DREAM Act. Sisa was arrested for civil disobedience, something she says she'd do all over again. Because I knew that it wasn't doing it for me. I was doing it for thousands and thousands of other undocumented youth who needed a solution. ASU's Undocumented Students for Education Equity, or UC, gathered to plan their next move. Corina Aribe says there's only weeks left to pressure Congress to vote. And then the December 8th, uh, we know that that's the last day before Congress heads out to recess, so we want to make sure that we are advocating and pushing for a solution before that day. This is what democracy looks like! UC students have marched across ASU's Tempe campus and protested in front of the Senate Hart Building. But member Edder Diaz-Martinez says that's not the only way they're making their voices heard. We're flooding their voicemails and phone calls. We're emailing them. We are mobilizing our allies. And although DACA recipients cannot vote, Belen Sisa says she has a message for politicians who may underestimate the power of dreamers. And if you don't make this happen, you're not going to get voted again in 2018. So you better be careful because we have more power than, than that you think that we do to influence. We may not be able to vote, but we can definitely make our stories heard and make sure that our communities fight for us who can make those decisions. UC students are pressuring legislators to pass the DREAM Act before that December 8th deadline, but at this point there is no guarantee that a decision will be made by that date. In the Broadcast Center, Fortes Latifi, Cronkite News.